Hello friends, this video on Forests Our Lifeline Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now forests besides being a home to different plants and animals, they are also known as the green lungs of nature because you know forests play a very important role which is not only beneficial for the plants and animals living inside the forest but which is very much beneficial for the entire environment. Now, why are forests called green lungs? Now, obviously they are called green because of their green color, because of the green color of the plants. So, forest is covered with plants which are green in color. So, they are called green. And why are they called lungs? Because forests help in gaseous exchange, in exchange of gases. That sounds little interesting. So, what do we mean by uh, forests helping in gaseous exchange? Now, forests consist of a huge number of plants and what do these plants do? So, these plants carry out the process of photosynthesis because photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their own food and you see for food all living organisms are directly or indirectly dependent on plants because plants will prepare their own food by photosynthesis and that's how plants will survive. Then the herbivores will eat the plants, the carnivores will eat the her herbivores. So you see all animals either they are herbivores or carnivores they are directly or indirectly dependent on plants. So it is very important for plants to perform photosynthesis. Now while performing photosynthesis what do the plants do? Plants take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis because carbon dioxide is a raw material for photosynthesis. What happens in the process of photosynthesis? Let's see. In During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water, they combine together to form food in the form of glucose and oxygen is released during the process. So this is, this is what that happens in the process of photosynthesis. So what do you see? For this plants have to take in carbon dioxide and as a product of photosynthesis oxygen will be released to the atmosphere. So that's what will happen. Now since forests have so many plants and all these plants are going to release a lot of oxygen altogether and they are also going to consume a lot of carbon dioxide. Now how this oxygen and carbon dioxide helps? So plants maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. How is it maintaining the balance? Because if you look at other set of animals, whether you talk about human beings or you talk about other animals, all these animals they take in carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide which is released by the plants that is taken in by the animals and the carbon dioxide which is released by the animals during their respiration. So animals release carbon dioxide during respiration. So while inhaling, when we inhale, when we breathe in, we take in oxygen, this oxygen which was released by the plants and when we breathe out, we release carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide which we release out that is taken up by the plants. So plants, if, if there are lesser number of plants, there will be less oxygen available in the atmosphere. So the animals will have difficulty in breathing. When I say animals, I am also talking about human beings because even human beings need oxygen. So due to the presence of a huge number of plants in a single area that is a forested area a lot of oxygen is present in the atmosphere and that is why when we inhale being in a forest we feel that the air is very fresh because lot of oxygen is present there uh, pollution is less so you can feel that you are inhaling fresh air so that means forests help to maintain now forests help in gaseous exchange it takes it gives out the right amount of oxygen and it takes in the right amount of carbon dioxide because we do not want carbon dioxide to get accumulated in the atmosphere because it cause it can cause global warming so therefore that carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants so since plant forests are made up of plants forests contain a huge number of plants so we say that forests are green lungs now what is the purpose of lungs in our body human body lungs help in exchange of gases so lungs are the main organ of respiratory system System. When we breathe in, we breathe out, so that entire process is handled by the lungs. So forests are the lungs of nature. So in nature also, the carbon dioxide and oxygen intake and outtake is uh, managed by the forests because forests contain a lot of trees. So that is why forests are called the green lungs of nature. 
so with this we saw that forests of course uh, provides home to a lot of plants a lot of animals besides that it also helps to maintain the right balance of gases in the atmosphere so that ways it helps all living organisms even though people like us who are not living inside a forest we live miles away from forests but still we also need oxygen to breathe in so therefore indirectly forests are helping us also because the forest is helping the environment so now that we saw that forests are a good are a good is provides a good home for both plants as well as animals let us quickly look at the importance of forests provide habitat to animals birds and insects now when we use the word habitat habitat is a place of dwelling for organisms which provides food and shelter to the organism so forests provide food and shelter to many tribes so not only animals birds and plants but also the tribal people receive their food and shelter from forest now not only animals and tribal people forests also support growth of plants the soil of the forests they are you know uh, they contain enough nutrients and uh, materials which are needed for good growth and development of plants and that is why we get to see so many plants starting from huge trees to shrubs to herbs so we get to see all of them in a forest so it supports the growth of plants maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and because of this property they are termed as forests are called the green lungs of nature forest is also used for it can be used as a source of various objects which are useful to human beings for example for making furnitures we make use of wood which is obtained from the plants so that that's where we talk about the sesame wood furniture teak wood furniture so all these are different types of wood which are obtained from different plants in forests provide useful products like wax gums honey etc we get to see i mean we use all these products which actually come from forests medicinal uses of various plants there are many plants which are, can be used as medicines for different problems in fact that is how uh, in earlier days uh, like now we have so much of advancement in the medicinal field but in the earlier days people used to treat diseases and illness using herbs so, and that's how the entire concept of ayurveda came up where they use different materials di different parts of trees sometimes branches leaves flowers and they all have certain properties because of which they can treat a particular disease thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.